everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sophie and I would love it if you hit that big red subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell as well so that you never miss a video. So currently I am in Plaza, New York, in Madrid and I'm going to be showing you how to spend a weekend in Madrid or at least what we get up to in Madrid. Um, it's a bit crazy right now in the plaza so I think I'm going to have to keep this intro short and come back to you in a bit because I do have a lot that I need to say already uh, because I've actually been here a few days because I was here for work, I was sending the trip, exploring the weekend, doing the sightseeing now. So yeah, we're going to head off and grab some food and I'll get back to you all later. So we headed over to the famous Mercado San Miguel to see what food they had on offer and this market was extremely busy. We did not stay there for very long. I got these olives for like four euros which was overpriced really for two olives and a bit of cheese and some pepper from memory. Um, Alex's pizza was a better deal but not very Spanish and then we went to a mediocre restaurant. Hello again everyone, so we're back at the hotel now, it's a lot less chaotic here so I thought I'd film for a bit, I haven't really filmed much today just because the streets of Madrid have been so busy, like we have been in El Centro, but still just so busy, like if I if I was filming I would just walk into people all the time, if, you know, I thought my little intro in Plaza Mayor but even that was like I know it's the main square, but from what I, I know, Instagram isn't reality. But yeah, just a lot busier than I was expecting. But there was a lot going on there. There was a Christmas market and stuff. Um, and I have been told there are bank holidays coming up in Spain and everyone takes time off around it. So I think, yeah, Madrid at the moment is just busy. It's 2nd of December. Um, yeah, I've also got changed. I bought this from um, Strada Varius. I don't even know how to say the name of that shop. On um, Gran Via. And yeah, we're gonna head out in a bit to go to a rooftop bar, so I'll tell you about that. But basically, I just wanted to say that obviously I've been here a few days um, for work already. Have been staying near Ifema because I was here to like help organize an event. So, you know, haven't explored much. Did go into the centre and did go to um, El El Bar, which is a gay bar for a drag show, which I highly recommend if you speak Spanish, because it's a really funny show, but if you aren't able to understand Spanish, like, maybe not so much, like, you know, I speak Spanish, but I don't understand everything, you know. Um, maybe like level C1, B2, I have a degree in Spanish, but... <laughs> I found it so like, so funny, such a good night, so definitely recommend that if you're looking um, for some good nights out, check when they have the drag show on and go to that. Um, but yeah, basically I've just gathered that food in Madrid is very good. Haven't done much sightseeing yet. We went to the stadium this morning, uh, well, I believe there's two stadiums in Madrid, but when we went to Santiago Maribel, probably the most famous one. <laughs> um, and so yeah, we're gonna head out for our rooftop bar reservations and um, I'll keep you updated. Now this has got to be one of the nicest elevators I have ever taken in my life. Now of course I knew that we would most likely have to take an elevator up to the rooftop bar but I was not aware that it would also be an art show. So this bar is called El Silo de Chicote and you can find this on top of the Hilton Hotel. I do recommend reserving in advance but yeah it has lovely views of the Gran Via. Would definitely recommend. <laughs> in Madrid um, we've come to Retiro Park um, which is I guess like the biggest park the main park in Madrid the one which everyone will tell you um, to go to um, we've also been to Churros this morning I did plan to vlog in there but uh, it was a bit chaotic I got a few like, videos on my phone which I'll show here but yeah get there early uh, they don't take reservations at the weekend so get there early probably would have got there earlier if I wasn't traveling with this one to be honest but <laughs> yes that's that's the advice I give you if you're looking to go to the really famous um, churro restaurant chocolate latte um, oh my god I forgot 
well, it's called Genus, I think. Um, but yes, we're every tour about now. Going for a nice little wander, and then we've got a reservation at Bodhi for lunch, which is the oldest restaurant in the world, according to the Guinness World Record book. And it's been a family run business the whole time, so definitely excited to try that out. restaurant in the world it even reminds you of its status on its menu and it has a little bit of history on the menu as well about the restaurant which is very cute very nice um, it's definitely a very old building i love the atmosphere in here um, we've ordered our food so Alex has ordered the steak and I've ordered the dish that they're most well known for which is their um, cochinillo asado so like a suckling pig uh, yeah just for one person and he has the friends looking very much forward uh, to try on it and this food here all looks and smells really good nuestro último día in Madrid and currently I am at the Temple of Diobod. Um, I wanted to see this before we go home as it's so close to our hotel so it makes sense to see it. Um, basically it's an Egyptian temple that was uh, yeah, moved to Madrid. It doesn't look as nice as it looked in the pictures, I swear in the pictures this was meant to be awful of water but I feel like that's often the way when you're traveling like things are not the same as you expect them to be um, for example I wanted to see the Metropolis building the other day and I went there and I was like I can't find the building it says it should be right here and then I turned around and realized the entire building was under construction so I couldn't see any of it and that was why <laughs> um, but yes excited to be in Madrid for one more day and to see what we can see today and um, yeah ignore the noise again the problem with vlogging in public is there's always background noise so there's someone blowing some leaves and I think there was someone cutting some grass as well but yes um, although we're heading back today we've got a, quite a late flight back so we've still got a few things to do and we're still going to be eating well and I feel like one thing you have to do when you're in Madrid is eat good Spanish food so yeah we've got lunch reservations at one um, yeah, and our flight's back in the evening, so let's we'll see what we get up to. Los huevos for the eggs and cheese. Um, I ordered the eggs with ham on, which is actually ordered ham a lot quicker than I expected. Um, so yeah, I just need to add the ham on to Miss Huevos y Patatas. And Alex has ordered a sirloin steak, which we're just waiting on now. So after finishing off our lunch, we headed to El Museo. Reina Sofia because I wanted to see the famous Guernica painting and then we made our way back to the hotel to collect our baggage to go to the airport and of course I forgot to film an outro to this video so I hope you did enjoy it give it a big thumbs up if you did and click that big red subscribe button down below as well so that you never miss a video see you on the next one bye